this video we show you how to use the sectional view function. You can find this function in the extra section. When you click on sectional view, a small window opens. If you click on the top right icon, the window will get bigger showing enlarged objects. After opening the window a small plane is visible in the 3D view. Position the plane onto the model using the left mouse button. Once placed, you can move the plane by holding and moving it through the left mouse button on the bright corner. Otherwise, if you activate the middle icon in the cut view, the plane can be positioned manually by selecting two points on the tooth. If you want to rotate the plane, press Ctrl and with the left mouse button move the sphere that will appear around the plane. In the cut view, by using the mouse wheel, you can change the size of the plane and at the same time zoom inside the window. If you click on the button to the left, the cutting plane is automatically centered in the 3D viewer. By clicking on the three dots, the Auto Rotate Cut menu appears, showing three different options. The third button allows you to move freely the cut view when you move the model, as shown in the background. With the button in the middle, movements are limited to 90 degrees. With the first button, any rotation movement is blocked. Using this slider, the cut view can be moved along the entire arch, whereas if you click on the three dots you can change the display mode. If you select sectional view, you can see the inner part of 3D objects, and with intersection line only the contours can be shown, with or without the grid. Finally, with the cut view it is also possible to take measurements directly. What you have to do is to place two dots on the section to calculate, and adjust them manually very quickly.